Welcome to our channel. We are here on eToro looking at the oil WTI. And as you can see, we have broken uh, down quite substantially uh, this uh, last uh, few trading days. And at the moment, we are technically in the mid-range. I am not interested in buying or selling at the moment because we're not even close at any support level and we're not close to any resistance level. So my tactics at the moment is just wait and uh, look where this market will go. Um, but there are indications that we are go most likely will go lower based on the bad news with the coronavirus and also the technical indicators. So uh, we started the week off uh, basically touching these highs of uh, nearly 32, 31 thereabout. And then we went all the way down to $37. And uh, if we look at the uh, indicators, we can see that the RSI, it is in the mid-range, it's not oversold, it's not overbought. And, um, and we can see that it's trending downwards. The same goes for the stochastic, it is trending downwards. And also the MACD broke the signal line um, uh, last Friday and we're currently trending downwards. So all three indicators show that we will most likely go lower from here. So the question is how much lower uh, are we going to go? Well, we are most likely going to stay in with this range for quite a long time. So between the very highest of $35 to the lows of uh, $30, maybe a little bit lower than that. Um, oil likes to trade in ten, fifteen dollar ranges, and uh, at this current point, uh, current point of time, I believe that we are going to stay in within this range uh, for quite some time. If we were to to uh, go upwards, then we have um, two uh, major uh, resistance levels. We have the uh, Fibonacci retracement at uh, sixty one point eight at around uh, $33, I would be a seller at this point. And if we were to uh, break this resistance level, uh, we will uh, go to uh, 200 moving average, which is around $35. Uh, I don't believe that this is going to break uh, 200 moving average at any time, time soon. Um, and if we were to break down, then I believe that the 250 moving average would be um, a major resistant uh, support uh, level. That's around $30. So, however, in the long run, we may see countries uh, closing their economies again or closing parts of their economy again, restricting travel and so on. All of this will be course negative for the oil price um, and the last week's news was not very good when concerning the coronavirus uh, especially in the United States we have cases that are we have actually states that are locking down again um, because you have such a substantial amount of uh, people catching the coronavirus and uh, that of course all of that news will be negatively, uh, the price of oil will be negatively affected by all of that news. So at the moment, I'm just waiting. Um, I believe that we'll go lower. I believe that we will we'll hit the, um, the 50 moving average uh, before we go higher from here. Uh, because this increase was just a technical trade in order to fill this gap. There was no reason uh, for this increase in price other than just to fill this gap. Because the world economy is, uh, is in decline. Uh, and in many cases, it hasn't really restarted uh, again. So there's no reason why uh, you should have a massive spike in oil, even though we have cut oil production substantially. So... Uh, hope you uh, like this analysis. Uh, you're welcome to uh, press like for our channel and subscribe and, uh, and uh, hit the bell button in order to get our uh, newest 
videos. Thank you very much. Thank you.